Sir. This is a part. Um, is it okay? Yes, yes, it's very nice. Yes, explain. Ma'am, this all is a practice and I have used erasers to make the stand of pencil. I have cut the pencil from between with the, with the graphite lead so that it can conduct the electricity and a battery is used, LED light is used and just these holders are used to perform this activity. When we touch the pencil at any point, due to graphite is a good conductor, the light will glow. Yes. What happens when you change the length? And when I am changing the length, the light, the light remains the same. So does the, the, uh, the intensity of light of bulb change? Do you notice any change in intensity of light? Yes, ma'am. As I will go the far, the intensity will decrease. Yes, yes. As as I am near, the intensity is more. Yes, very good. Very nice. Nice effort. Very good. Okay, students. So you have seen that Gursimar has performed this activity and uh, he has done a lot of effort. So you should also come forward and uh, perform these kinds of small, small activities to make your concepts clear. I am sure he must have learned so many things while doing this experiment. Okay, so from here you get direct connection between length and resistance. So resistance is directly proportional to length of the conductor or wire. As the length is decreasing, resistance is decreasing, as it is closer to the other terminal, the length is short and resistance is less. So the intensity of glow of bulb is more. So this is what he is finding actually also. Okay, so from here we see that current is inversely proportional to length or resistance is directly proportional to length. So R is equal to rho L by A may to pro prove the dependence of resistance on length. This is a very good activity. Okay, now students, I'm going to share another activity where we can uh, use a magnetic compass needle to find time as it was done by ancient people when clocks were not discovered. So they used to uh, see the concept of shadows for measuring time. So one student of uh, 10th D, Archie, she has made that compass clock, right? So I'm going to share that picture with you. Yes, this is the picture of that compass clock. She has kept the compass uh, needle and she has marked east at three place, south at the place of six digit, west at the place of nine and north at the place of 12. And she has kept the pencil inclined at an angle of 45 degree as I showed to you also that activity. Okay, so when she has uh, kept the bottom of pencil on the south of magnetic compass needle and she has kept it inclined then the shadow of that uh, pencil is giving us the time. See, they, they, this is the shadow. This is nine, this is 12 here. So it is somewhere between nine and 12. Okay, here it is about 10, here it is about 11. So it, you can see it is between 10 and 11. So that means the time indicated from here is 10.30. And when she did that, actual time was 10.25. So it is very, very close uh, measurement of time. She is very close to it. So this clock is called compass clock. So if we can also um, uh, see sundials. You can see that they are also based on the same concept of shadows. So this is how uh, earlier the people used to measure time using magnetic compass needle. So magnets, they were of great uh, advantage. At that time, they were also used to navigate 
and lodestone you know first natural magnet was called lodestone because it used to lead the people and uh, find direction right so is that uh, clear now both the activities are clear now let's do questions yes students we were doing questions chal raha ha bas theek hai okay yes students uh, one more thing i want to show you uh, dependence of intensity of bulb on resistance you can also uh, see through this model see in this uh, model there are four different resistors have you ever seen a resistance in reality so you can see now these are carbon resistors and they have lines colorful lines over them with the help of these lines we can find their resistance we can tell using color code we can also have an idea about their resistance but right now uh, we have taken r1 less than r2 less than r3 less than r4 so r4 is maximum it is the highest value of resistance here okay this is the least value of resistance right and we have a light here so when we will bring the metallic contact here this is minimum resistance so brightness of bulb you can see is maximum as i bring it contact with the second resistance the brightness is little low when i bring it in contact with the yet another r3 resistance greater than both of them again the glow is less and when i bring it in contact with the last highest resistance the glow is very less the glow is minimum here so you can have an idea about here uh, this also that as the resistance is increasing okay current is decreasing so since current through this bulb is decreasing the brightness is also decreasing so same thing we can have an idea about this from this small model also just we have uh, one light source and four different resistances of different values right so let us see the questions now okay hum kahan tak pahunch gaye the ha ye kiya tha see this question now ye kar liya tha humne last mein in order to reduce electricity consumption at home what kind of appliance should one purchase one which uh, draws low power which produces less heat which operates at higher voltage or which draws high amount of current yes answer what do you think which device we should use to reduce our electricity bill to reduce power consumption yes gursimar ma'am a a part yes very nice gursimar is doing very well so one which draws low power okay because low power means it will consume less power so electricity bill will be less it will consume less electrical energy also uh think about other options one which produces less heat suppose we are talking about a bulb then we don't want that it should give uh, less energy in the form of heat and light uh, think about a geyser we don't want that it should uh, not heat up the water properly c is which operates at higher voltage we don't want that uh, we can't exceed the voltage beyond 220 volt so we don't want such appliances that consume high voltage that require high voltage that is also not desirable one which draws high amount of current in this case also we don't need that because the highest uh, current will also produce large amount of heat according to joule's law of heating so we don't prefer this point as well so yes the correct answer is a now do the second question uh, i think we have done an electric toaster has power rating of 200 watt uh, yes we have done it operates for 1 hour in the morning and 1 hour in the evening we have done it was rupees 20 okay so let's do some questions yeah these questions we are to do yes uh this was the last question 
which option explains the rule to understand working of motor that we did i think this also we had done out of the field why this is out of the field why it's not upward when we applied fleming's left hand rule i think that is clear to you because horizontal vertical directions are already covered so answer is not upward it is out of the field next question is based on this a student inserts a bar magnet in the coil okay the student observes deflection in the galvanometer connected to the coil what will happen if magnet is continuously getting in and out of the coil they are talking about faraday's experiment that there is a coil there is a magnet and galvanometer attached to the coil and when we continuously move the magnet in and out what will happen the options are there in front of you current induced in the coil will increase current will change its direction continuously magnetic field will create a motion in the coil matlab is magnetic field se coil bhi move karne lag jayega magnetic field of bar magnet would keep decreasing ki bar magnet ka field kam ho jayega yes which is the correct option yes just lean ma'am a option no current thodi na increase hoga हम दोनों डायरेक्शन में ऐसा कर रहे हैं स्पीड की बात नहीं की है उन्होंने है ना कंटिन्यूसली वी आर मूविंग इन आउट बट स्पीड का वी आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट इट ठीक है यस गुरसिमर मैम सी ऑप्शन मैम सी नो इससे कॉइल चल थोड़ी ना पड़ेगा इससे मोशन हम देते हैं मोशन हम देते हैं वी आर मूविंग द मैग्नेट ऑलरेडी उससे मैग्नेटिक फील्ड क्रिएट नहीं होगा मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज आल्सो देयर बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ मैग्नेट आल्सो सो व्हाट विल हैपन यस एनीवन एल्स एनीबडी एल्स हु कैन आंसर यस स्टूडेंट्स हां जी गुरसिमर मैम फिर बी होगा बी इज द राइट आंसर आई यू रिमेंबर आई हैड शोड यू अ सिमुलेटर तो उसमें मैं जैसे वो इन आउट कर रही थी कॉयल को तो आप देख रहे थे डिफ्लेक्शन भी ऐसे ऐसे हो रही थी इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट सिमुलेटर तो अगर हम उसको इन और आउट कर रहे हैं तो डिफ्लेक्शन भी चेंज होती जाएगी कंटिन्यूसली चेंज होगी सो करंट विल चेंज डायरेक्शन कंटिन्यूसली दिस इज द राइट आंसर ओके दिस इज आर राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट अ स्टूडेंट मेक्स एन अरेन्जमेंट टू स्टडी इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन एज शोन येस वी नो there is a coil there is galvanometer and magnet uh, just in place of one turn they have taken a coil of many turns she changes the arrangement in four different ways ab kaise wo arrangement change kar rahi hai student she moves the coil in left away from the magnet wo magnet coil ko udhar ko leke ja rahi hai away from the magnet left side second is she moves the magnet towards right अवे फ्रॉम द कॉइल अब वो राइट की तरफ लेके जा रही है बट अगेन अवे फ्रॉम द कॉइल थर्ड इज मूव बोथ कॉइल एंड मैग्नेट टूवर्ड्स ईच अदर दोनों को पास में लेके आ रही है फोर्थ इज मूव बोथ कॉइल एंड मैग्नेट इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एट सेम स्पीड सो आर क्वेश्चन इज इन विच ट्रायल द गिलवेनोमीटर वुड रिमेन अनडिफ्लेक्टेड ट्रायल वन टू थ्री फोर वट इज आंसर किस ट्रायल में गैल्वेनोमीटर नीडल रिफ्लेक्ट ही नहीं होगी यस व्हाट डू यू से यस स्टूडेंट्स एनी आइडिया अबाउट द आंसर नाउ यस सारे आंसर गुरसिमत नहीं देने हैं व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स अमृतपाल आप बताओ व्हाट डू यू थिंक Amritpal, Harshita, would you like to answer? Yes. Would you like to answer? Um, trial four. Trial four. Trial four. Yes, right answer. Because when uh, she will move the coil towards left, there will be deflection. When right, there will be a reversal of direction. When both coil and move, magnet move towards each other again, there will be deflection because motion is taking place. but we have to take relative motion so when coil and magnet both are moved with the same speed so relative motion zero what do we mean by relative motion 
i give you one example suppose uh, two students uh, two boys they are uh, uh, you can say cycling they are moving the bicycle parallel to each other with the same speed to aapko relatively aap ek dusre ke with respect to rest pe rahoge suppose there are two trains running parallel in the same direction with the same speed to aapko aisa lagega ki dusri train rest pe hai uh, you must have experienced this thing theek hai ye experience aapne kiya hoga right so we also mention faraday's first law is whenever there is a relative motion between a coil and a magnet an induced current is produced so relative motion honi chahiye in fourth part when coil and magnet both are moving in same direction with the same speed unki relative motion zero ho jati so that's why trial four mein koi deflection nahi hogi because magnetic flux will not change theek hai magnetic flux won't change in this case ठीक है चलिए देखते हैं इसमें कोई क्वेश्चन रह गया था क्या हमारा ये तो हमने एंड तक कर लिए थे यस दिस वाज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैड डन ओके लेट अस नाउ डिस्कस आई एम आस्किंग यू फ्यू क्वेश्चंस यू विल टेल मी व्हाट इज मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स कौन बताएगा व्हाट इज मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स we have used this term already when we did faraday's experiment who will tell me magnetic flux kya hoti hai magnetic flux koi bhi bata sakta hai but not gursimer yes nishtha batao ma'am number of magnetic lines passing through a certain area yes it's number of magnetic lines passing through certain area okay that is called magnetic flux and uh, have you ever heard about si unit of magnetic flux kahi book mein se padha ho what is si <coughs> si unit kisi ko pata hai what is the unit of magnetic flux yes amritpal bataya tha shayad aapne pucha tha na ek bar webber webber yes w e b e r webber we denoted by w b Weber is the unit of magnetic flux. ठीक है तो ये तो हमने ऑलरेडी डिस्कस किया हुआ है ओके नाउ हु टेल मी नेम द रूल दैट इज यूज टू टेल इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस्ड बाय अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर प्लेस्ड इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड नेम दैट रूल कौन बताएगा नेम द रूल यूज टू गिव अस द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस्ड बाय अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर Which is placed in a magnetic field. Yes, Nishtha. Ma'am, Fleming's left-hand rule. Yes, Fleming's left-hand rule. Jaslene, would you like to state the rule? State Fleming's left-hand rule. Yes. Ma'am, stretch the first three fingers of your hand in such a way that they are perpendicular to each other. When the forefinger of your hand you will give the direction of magnetic field. Ah, uh, when the forefinger gives the direction of magnetic field, middle finger gives the direction of current, then thumb gives the direction of magnetic force. अब कौन मुझे बताएगा what is the other name of this magnetic force? ये जो magnetic force experience हो रहा है, what is its other name? Yes, what is the other name for magnetic force? Bolo, anyone? What do we call magnetic force? Lorentz force. Kya tha na? We discuss magnetic force ko Lorentz force bhi bolte hain. ठीक है? Now identify the rule. Name the rule that gives us direction of deflection of compass needle due to a current carrying wire. Name the rule that gives deflection of magnetic compass needle due to a current carrying wire. कौन सा रूल है यस हर्षित मैम स्नो रूल वेरी गुड दैट इज नो रूल स्टेट कर दो एक बारी स्टेट द रूल वंस यस स्टेट द रूल वंस अनम्यूट हो रहे हो आप चलो ध्रुव आप करो 
state karu dhruv mehta the snow rule states that uh, uh, if the current flows through a wire from uh, the south pole to the north pole then the needle will deflect it towards the west direction yes so if current flows through a wire from south to north the needle will be deflected over west one more rule we can use to find the direction of this um, uh, deflection of compass needle name that rule now amritpal would you like to ek aur rule hai beer swimming rule Ampere swimming. Yes. Can you state Ampere swimming rule? It states that if we imagine a man swimming in the direction of current, then the needle will be deflected towards his left hand. Yes. If we imagine a man swimming in the direction of current, needle will be deflected towards his left hand. Very good. Okay. Next, you tell me which rule gives us direction of induced current when a coil is rotated in a magnetic field. now a coil is rotated in a magnetic field which rule will give us the direction of induced current yes dhruv dhruv aap bataoge jasleen Ma'am, Fleming's right hand rule. Yes, that is Fleming's right hand rule. Who will state the rule now? State Fleming's right hand rule. Who will do that? Who will state Fleming's right hand rule? Yes, Rishit, आप बताओ. आज आप कुछ नहीं बोल रहे हो, Rishit. Yes. Rishit, would you like to? Nahi bolna aaj. Okay, Nishtha, batao. Ma'am, if we stretch first three fingers of right hand and they are perpendicular to each other, then fourth finger tells the direction of magnetic field. Uh, middle finger tells the direction of induced current, and thumb tells the direction of motion. बिल्कुल ठीक है बट आपने जो फाइंड करना इंड्यूस करना वो एंड में बताना ठीक है सो स्ट्रेच फर्स्ट थ्री फिंगर्स ऑफ योर राइट हैंड दैट दे आर म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर इफ फोर फिंगर गिव्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड थंब गिव्स द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन देन सेंट्रल फिंगर विल गिव द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इंड्यूस करंट वो एंड में बताना फ्लेमिंग लेफ्ट एंड रूल में हमने फोर्स एंड में बताना बिकॉज द थिंग्स दैट आर गिवेन वो हम पहले बताएंगे ठीक है तो फ्लेमिंग लेफ्ट एंड रूल में वी आर वी आर हैविंग अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर इनिशियली सो करंट इज देयर ऑलरेडी वी आर हैविंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑलरेडी तो पहले हम उन दोनों चीजों का बताएंगे देन फोर्स इज प्रोड्यूस तो वो चीज लास्ट में बताएंगे जो एंड में प्रोड्यूस होगी ठीक है चलिए नाउ हु विल टेल मी व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स ऑन व्हिच द इंड्यूस करंट डिपेंड्स इफ वी वांट टू इंक्रीज इंड्यूस करंट How can we increase it? What are the factors on which induced current depends? लिख लो ये क्वेश्चन आपने पहले लिखा नहीं हुआ Yes, गुरसिमर Yes. Ma'am, it depends on the strength of magnetic field. एक तो हाँ magnetic field की strength पे depend करती है How can we increase that magnetic field in the given situation? How can you increase the strength of magnetic by increasing the number of coils yes number of turns in the coil by increasing number jo magnet hai usko to hum kuch nahi kar sakte but jo coil hai uska field to hum bada sakte hai na uska field badhega to magnetic flux increase hogi jitni flux increase hai utna hi amount of deflection will be more induced current will be more to so, likhiye first factor affecting induced current so first factor is what number of turns in the coil number of turns in the coil so more will be the number of turns stronger will be the magnetic field around the coil and stronger will be the magnetic flux of the coil and then uh, induced current uh, deflection or amount will also be more any other factor ek to ho gaya number of turns second factor kya hai wo humne second faraday second law mein already mention kiya hua hai kon batayega what is the second factor All the answers Guru Simmer is giving. What about Disha, Dia, Harshita, Himani, Jessica, Mansha? ये सब कोई तो बोलो. 
why you are not answering any question i don't think so ki koi bhi nahi aata hoga koi to aata hoga na same four five students always give the answer haan ji diya aap bolna chahte ho bolo yes diya you just unmuted if you want to speak you can diya bolna hai aapne diya chalo gurse mara aap bhi batao hmm. any other factor yes ma'am strength of magnet strength of magnet to ho gaya magnet wo to wo thodi hum badha sakte hain वो तो हमने एक बार अब जो मैग्नेट ले लिया वही है हमारे पास है ना परमानेंट मैग्नेट है हम उसकी स्ट्रेंथ इंक्रीज नहीं कर सकते मतलब आप गिवन है एक स्पीड ऑफ रिलेटिव यस स्पीड विद विच द मैग्नेट स्पीड ऑफ रिलेटिव मोशन यस स्पीड ऑफ मैग्नेट कह सकते हो या स्पीड ऑफ कॉइल भी कह सकते हो दोनों में से किसी भी चीज तो हमने सेकेंड लॉ फेरडे का यही किया है कि इंड्यूज करंट अमाउंट ऑफ इंड्यूज करंट डिपेंड्स अपॉन स्पीड ऑफ द मैग्नेट तो सेकेंड फैक्टर ऑन विच इंड्यूस करंट डिपेंड्स दैट इज स्पीड ऑफ द मैग्नेट बिकॉज रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स विल बी फास्टर मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स विल चेंज फास्टर विद टाइम दैट इज द रीजन ठीक है इज दट ओके एक और फैक्टर लिख लीजिए बाई चेंजिंग एरिया ऑफ द कॉइल इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ये भी एक तरीका होता है जिससे हम इंड्यूस करंट का अमाउंट चेंज कर सकते हैं बाई चेंजिंग एरिया ऑफ द कॉइल इन द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड we can do so okay so i hope uh, today's discussion is over